hi everyone and welcome back in today's video i am going to share my summer skincare routine no one asked for it but i have noticed a huge difference in my skin since i started following this routine huge enough to make a video just watch my last summer skincare routine and then watch this my pigmentation has almost disappeared and my dark circles look so much improved in appearance my skin type is dry combination which means it's slightly oily in the t-zone and very dry in the rest of the areas the past few Few months have been tremendous for my skin and the products i used worked magically too that's why i'm sharing this so let's get started let's start with morning skincare routine the first step is going to be cleansing it is an important step to get rid of all the dead cells and dirt from your face the cleanser that i'm using here is the neutrogena oil free acne wash there is a reason why i have incorporated acne fighting products in my routine it is because my skin becomes very sensitive during monsoon and I get some acne and tiny white bumps on my face. This face wash has salicylic acid to fight acne. I massage it in for almost 2 minutes to get the full effect of the product. Make sure you are very gentle while using a cleanser, do not rub your skin harshly. It is a good cleanser for all skin types and it smells so good. It's refreshing and has got great cleansing property. You should definitely give it a try if you have acne prone skin after washing your face gently pat dry your face the first mistake that i did in my childhood and teenage years was rubbing my face after washing it with a cloth it can result in hyperpigmentation due to friction make sure you gently pat your skin to get rid of excessive water the next step is toner it is a must if you have combination skin because number one it cleans your pores number two it removes excessive oil from oily areas and number three it adds hydration to the dry areas i'm using this mama earth vitamin c toner it suits your irritated skin and is also good for all skin types since it's a vitamin c toner it will help with hyperpigmentation and even out your skin tone i do not want to waste cotton pads so i'm just using my hands here disinfect your hands before and after your skincare routine it's very important the next step is a serum so i am using a vitamin c serum because mornings are all about vitamin c vitamin c is an antioxidant it protects your skin from uv rays it improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation it fades dark spots restores moisture prevents fine lines and wrinkles and what not so this is a magical ingredient that you should definitely include in your skincare routine and you have to make sure that you use it in the morning also use a sunscreen after using this next is an under eye cream it's completely optional and it does no magic like fading dark circles or vanishing fine lines I use it only for moisturizing my under eyes. I feel that dark circles can only be treated from the inside. Enough water, enough sleep and remain active. These factors can only vanish dark circles, not a ridiculously costly under eye cream. Now the final step is going to be moisturization. And for that, I am going to use Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. This is not for oily skin because it can make your skin feel heavy. But on the positive side, it has no fragrance and is non-comedogenic, which is good for sensitive skin. I do not use a moisturizer if I have to apply sunscreen. But I have not stepped out of the house for like 3 months, so I do not want to waste my sunscreen. But if you step out of the house, make sure you use a sunscreen. For my lips, I am going to use petroleum jelly. This works really good and it moisturizes your lips for a very long time. It's actually better than those sticky lip balms. I really don't like them. Alright, this look did fail and it was funny. So let's move to the nighttime skincare routine. I start by removing this silly failed makeup look. For that, I'm going to use the Face Shop Bright Light Cleansing Oil. It's an oil cleanser. I definitely double cleanse. Again, make sure you're super gentle with your skin. Do not rub it. Once all the makeup is dissolved, I wash it off. After washing it off, you will feel that all of the makeup is gone and you are left with a very hydrated, plump skin. The next step will be a gel cleanser. It's the simple hydrating gel face wash. It has no fragrance, no added perfume and that's why I love it so much. It also leaves you with a super hydrated and clean skin. I massage it on my face and neck for one minute and then I wash it off with normal water.
I also like to incorporate a lip scrub when I apply super matte lipsticks because I feel that my lips are very dehydrated. So yes, I just apply lip scrub on top of the cleanser and then I wash it all off. The next step is going to be a toner. This is where I exfoliate because I use a glycolic acid toner with 5% glycolic acid. It exfoliates and again treats skin discoloration, fine lines and it also hydrates your skin but you have to wear a sunscreen the next day for sure. I really love it but make sure you do a patch test of all the products in fact before using them on your entire face. Now this toner hydrates your skin and makes it plump and refreshed. I do not like the fragrance but it works great on combination skin. Do close your eyes while spraying it directly on your face. The next step is moisturization. After removing makeup, I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. It does feel heavy initially but it seeps into your skin in some time. It gives a beautiful glow to your skin. I apply it on my face and neck. After this again, I moisturize my lips with petroleum jelly and during the night time I like applying Vaseline on my lashes and also on my eyebrows. The footage on the screen is unedited and with fluorescent lights so that you can clearly see my skin. I will not say my pigmentation or dark circles have disappeared but they did decrease to a great extent. Skincare is not the only factor. I have to be honest here. I make sure to drink at least 4 liters of water a day and exercise on alternate days. I think those are the factors that can affect your skin too. So yes, that's it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and do not forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.